going to get a slice. You know what I just did? I just walked out that door, saw a couple detectives, and I was about to start bad-mouthing you behind your back. But I stopped myself because my pops taught me that a man who talks behind somebody's back is a coward. Wow, I actually appreciate that. Good, because I'm going to tell you directly to your face. No, you don't have to. No, I don't like you. I think you're a fake cop. The sound of your piss hitting the urinal? It sounds feminine. Mm -hmm. If we're in the wild, I would attack you. Even if you weren't in my food chain, I would go out of my way to attack you. If I were a lion and you were a tuna, I would swim out in the middle of the ocean and freaking eat you. And then I'd bang your tuna girlfriend. Okay. First off, a lion swimming in the ocean? Lions don't like water. If you'd placed it near a river or some sort of fresh water source, that makes sense. But you find yourself in the ocean, 20-foot wave, I'm assuming it's off the coast of South Africa, coming up against a full-grown 800-pound tuna with his 20 or 30 friends, you lose that battle. You lose that battle nine times out of ten. And guess what? You've wandered into our school of tuna, and we now have a taste of lion. We've talked to ourselves. We've communicated yeah. and said, you know what? Lion tastes good. Let's go get some more lion. We've developed a system to establish a beachhead and aggressively hunt you and your family. And we will corner your your pride, your children, your How offspring. You do that? We will construct a series of breathing apparatus with kelp. We'll be able to trap certain amounts of oxygen. It's not going to be days at a time, but an hour, hour 45, no problem. That will give us enough time to figure out where you live, go back to the sea, get more oxygen, and then stalk you. You just lost your own game. You're outgunned and outmanned. Did that go the way you thought it was going to go? Nope. Oh! Oh! <laughs>